Hey guys, you're watching Shiny Side Up. Today I'm going to do a hack of a GoPro combo cable. If you don't know what a GoPro combo cable is, this is one. Uh, this is a cable that allows you to plug the standard mini USB connection into the camera and then get uh, a mini USB for power so you can run the camera with external power source, a 3.5mm socket for an external mic and then audio and video outputs if you want to play back on a, you know, like on a TV or something directly from the camera. Now what I want to use this cable for is so that I can have an external power source and an external mic plugged into the camera so I can run my mic and I can power the camera uh, for longer than the battery will last. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, time to hack. Okay, so here's my uh, here's my layout. This is the plug. It's going to plug into the camera. Uh, it'll wire up. I'll make a connection here to the microphone cable that runs off to my microphone. This is the socket where I want to have power connected. And I'm actually I've just cut down an old USB cable, chopped the ends off. I've worked out what length I need uh, based on the helmet, and I'm going to use that to then ultimately connect these two bits together. <laughs> So I thought I might clear up something else. I've heard a few guys talk about the difference between stereo mics and, audio and uh, mono mics. And uh, there's a bit of a misnomer out there. A stereo mic really is just one that has a stereo plug on it. Uh, if it is a single microphone source like this, where you just have kind of one microphone, uh, that cannot be a stereo or a mono mic. The only way to have a stereo, a true stereo mic, is to have two microphones, one for your left channel and one for your right channel. Now this is called a stereo mic, even though it only has one mic, and the reason for that is because it has a stereo 3.5mm jack on it. And you can tell that because there's three segments to the, to the plug. The one at the base is the ground, and then you have, I, I don't know which way around it is, but it's left and then right. So the tip is one side, the midsection is another side and the base closest to the end here is uh, ground. 
Uh, now, when you look at the other end of that cable, and this is the one I've cut out of my current setup, you've got this ground wire. It's an unsheathed wire that's wrapped around um, the center cable. And then there's only one other cable. So this is the ground wire, the unsheathed one, uh, that's just covered up by the black sheathing on the outside. And then the one in the center is the kind of the left and right combined. And I'll, I'll show that to you. If you measure the continuity between these cables, if I go for the base, so there I am on the base of the, of the plug, and I go to the ground wire, I have continuity. If I go to the center wire and touch the mid section, I have continuity. If I touch the tip, I have continuity. If I touch the base, I have nothing. So don't be fooled. Don't think that uh, a stereo mic is anything more than the cable that it is connecting to and the socket that is on the end. All this is allowing for is uh, a camera or an audio input that will accept a stereo connection. In other words, a separated left and right channel from ground. If it's a mono connection, in other words, if this plug here only had two segments, the ground and then, and then the tip, then all that would happen is it would only feed either the left or the right audio channel of your camera. And then you'd have to combine it in post. So I hope that clears that up. A true stereo microphone doesn't necessarily have to have two microphones, but if you were talking about recording separate left and right audio channels, you would need two of these, one for each channel, okay? Okay, so I've got the camera hooked up to my cable now. None of my heat shrink is in place, so I've had to make sure all the cables are nicely separated. I'll do a little recording here and I'll see if I get uh, audio through my mic. So let's go. Testing one, two, three, audio test. One, two, three from the GoPro combo cable hacked by Shiny Side Up. Testing one, two, three, audio test. One, two, three from the GoPro combo cable hacked by Shiny Side Up. Okay, so I've got my laptop here now and I've got the USB lead hooked up to a USB port. What I want to check here is to see if I get a charging indication. And I'm charging. I'm not sure if you can see that. But the, uh, the camera is now charging. Okay, so the next thing to do is to move all these pieces of heat shrink over the joins and uh, apply some heat, which I'll do with a hairdryer. And uh, we are just about done.
Now, I know you're probably thinking how ugly those connections look now, but I never was a big fan of electrical tape in the past. I probably would have put a big piece of heat shrink over the top of this. Um, but what I found is that heat shrink isn't actually as waterproof as electrical tape. Uh, this will stick to itself quite nicely and, and give a really nice connection uh, that's a, l a lot more weatherproof. Uh, and the aesthetic of it I'm not really worried about because I'm going to use some of this uh, nylon cable braid uh, over the top. So I'll do that next. Okay, so this bit was a bit hard to film, but basically what I've done is I've fed the, uh, the plug through the hole in the curtain that I've made. I made that hole uh, just with a hot soldering iron, and I've fed all the cable through that hole. Now inside the helmet, uh, I've got my socket and my microphone, so I'll tidy those up in a minute. Uh, and this cable is now going to run on the outside of the helmet through these cable clips 